Hey guys, good morning. Uh, UltimateChemistryCourse.com. Uh, I'm going to take you through one of my favorite uh, experiments. It's actually the first experiment that I do with my uh, grade 10 uh, sophomores, but you can really do this experiment with uh, pretty much any level uh, in between grade 6 and even 12. They, uh, they still like it. Um, and it involves this little guy here. Okay, this is a, this little piece of steel wool. And we're going to ask a simple question, okay? Um, if I take this steel wool and I put it on this triple beam balance, right, I can get its mass, right? Hopefully we can, we can do that pretty easily. Um, and my question is, if I take the steel wool, get the mass, and then I stretch it out to uh, have a bigger volume, is the mass going to change, right? So if I stretch it out and then weigh it afterwards, um, what's going to happen to the mass? Okay, so I've got my uh, triple beam balance. I've got my uh, piece of steel wool. Let's put it on the triple beam balance and let's get its mass. Okay, so if I zoom in to the, uh, what the scale reads, okay, let's see if you can uh, do the reading. After we did our, uh, our lesson on reading a triple beam balance, what do you think that that, uh, that, that reading is here. The other sliders are at zero. So the reading is, I'm going to read it right here, it's going to, it looks like uh, 6.9, let's say 9.7, right? I'm going to write that down, okay? 6.97 grams, okay? Folks, always good to write stuff down, okay? The difference between science and messing around is writing stuff down, okay? Now I'm going to take my steel wool and I'm going to stretch it out, okay? So uh, I tell my students to just pull on it any which way you can here. Oh, while I'm doing this, you should make sure that you make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think the mass is going to increase? Do you think it's going to decrease? Or do you think it's going to stay the same? Make sure you make that prediction before you weigh the stretched out piece of steel wool. Okay, um, I don't know if you can see it. Looks like our line is a little bit not matched up right there. So what we're gonna do is push this back a little bit to make sure those lines match up. Now let's take the reading. Okay, what do you think that reading is? I'm gonna do that reading, looks like it's uh, six point, I'm gonna call that 6.71. Now, if we do the subtraction, right, 0.26, okay, we get a difference of 20.26 grams. So it looks like the steel wool got lighter. Okay, so you saw the experiment with the piece of steel wool, um, and I want you to come up with an explanation as to why the steel wool actually uh, decreased in mass. Was that your prediction? Uh, did you predict that it would increase, stay the same, or decrease? And then did the uh, result match up with your hypothesis or your prediction?